Hello and welcome to this video on some facts about the English Channel. The English Channel, also known as La Manche, is a narrow stretch of water that separates southern England from northern France. It is an arm of the Atlantic Ocean and connects the North Sea with the Bay of Biscay. The channel is approximately 350 miles, 560 kilometers, long and varies in width from 150 miles, 240 kilometers, to just 21 miles, 34 kilometers, at its narrowest point. It is one of the busiest shipping lanes in the world and has a rich history and diverse ecosystem. Geography The English Channel is a shallow sea with an average depth of only 120 meters, 390 feet. The seabed is mostly sandy, with some rocky areas, and it is dotted with numerous small islands. The channel's coastline is characterized by towering cliffs, pebble beaches, and picturesque harbors. The channel's main ports include Dover, Portsmouth, Southampton, and Plymouth on the British side, and Calais, Dunkirk, Boulogne, and Le Havre on the French side. These ports are essential for trade, commerce, and tourism, and they have played a significant role in the region's history. Climate The English Channel has a maritime climate, which means that it is influenced by the ocean's temperature and currents. The weather is typically mild and wet, with frequent fog and strong winds. The region's climate is also affected by the Gulf Stream, which brings warm water from the Caribbean and influences the temperature of the surrounding areas. History The English Channel has played a vital role in European history for thousands of years. The Channel served as a natural barrier, protecting Britain from invasion by the continent. However, it also provided a vital trade route between Britain and the continent, facilitating the exchange of goods and ideas. During the Napoleonic Wars in the early 19th century, the Channel became a crucial battleground, with the British Navy defeating Napoleon's forces in a series of naval battles. The Channel also played a significant role in World War I and World War II, with the British and German navies engaging in fierce battles and U-boats threatening shipping lanes. Ecosystem the English Channel has a rich and diverse ecosystem, with over 10,000 species of plants and animals living in the region. The Channel's waters are home to fish such as cod, herring, and sole, as well as dolphins, seals, and whales. The Channel is also an important breeding ground for seabirds, including gulls, puffins, and guillemots. The Channel's seabed is home to a variety of marine plants, including kelp forests and sea grass beds. These plants provide important habitats for a range of marine life, including crabs, lobsters, and starfish. Fishing Fishing has been an essential activity in the English Channel for centuries, with local communities relying on the sea for their livelihoods. However, overfishing has led to a decline in fish populations, with some species now endangered. To protect fish stocks, the European Union and the UK government have introduced quotas and regulations to manage fishing in the channel. These measures aim to ensure that fishing is sustainable and that fish populations can recover. Tourism The English Channel is a popular destination for tourists, offering stunning coastal scenery, historic landmarks, and a range of recreational activities. Visitors can explore charming seaside towns, take boat trips to nearby islands, or walk along the famous White Cliffs of Dover. The Channel is also a popular destination for water sports enthusiasts, with opportunities for swimming, sailing, and windsurfing. In conclusion, the English Channel is a fascinating body of water that has played a significant role in the history and culture of the United Kingdom and continental Europe. Despite its relatively small size and challenging conditions, the English Channel has been traversed by countless ships, from ancient trading vessels to modern ferries and submarines. It has witnessed some of the most significant events in European history, such as the Norman Conquest, the Spanish Armada, and the D-Day landings. Today, the English Channel remains a vital shipping lane, connecting the ports of Britain, France, and beyond. It also provides a unique environment for wildlife and recreation, attracting swimmers, sailors, and nature enthusiasts from around the world. Overall, the English Channel is a remarkable and complex feature of the natural and cultural landscape of Europe, and it will undoubtedly continue to shape and inspire us for many years to come. Like the video and remember to subscribe to our channel.